Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can manually uh, update your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10a or the S10 Plus to the latest uh, software version of uh, Samsung um, Galaxy uh, One UI 2.5. So at the moment, uh, my software is not updating. So if I go into about phone and into software information, you can see I'm still running One UI version uh, 2.0, uh, which is quite old now. And the last update, so you can see here, uh, the last update that I have is quite a while ago. Uh, last update is back in March 2020. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can uh, uh, manually update using the firmware and a, an olden software. So before we do that, we need to go and download uh, the firmware. Uh, make sure that you check your phone model. So go into about phone and check the model number. So you can see here on my device, it is SMG975F. Now you may have the same uh, Galaxy phone, but the model can be different. So make sure that you check uh, that you have the correct model and also check uh, for the right uh, uh, model name. And when you're downloading the software, you can also choose which country uh, you are downloading the firmware. Now I will provide information in the description as to where you can download the firmware file and uh, olden software so that you can download them. And uh, once you have downloaded them, so you can see here, I've got the older software and the firmware. After you have downloaded them, you need to extract it. So you can just click on it to extract the file. And then I have already extracted over here. That's one of them. And this one here, we need to extract. There are five uh, files in here. And you need to extract them into a folder. And I put in this folder right here. Uh, so it's empty at the moment, so we can extract it. So you can just extract the five files and I'm going to drag into that folder and now it is extracting okay it's finished uh, extracting so it should be in here now five files as you can see now next we need to put the Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus into download mode now there are different ways to do this so one of the way is to press on the power button turn off the device once it is switched off, we need to press on the power button, the big speed key and the volume up key. So press on the three keys at the same time. So here we go, press and hold onto power button, volume up and big speed key. Press into your phone, boot into recovery. Once you're in recovery, you, you can press on the volume down button and then choose reboot to bootloader. And your phone should now go into download mode. So you can see it says downloading. Now another method is to use your... Uh, so I'm just going to go in here. So you, another method is to press on the side button, volume down button and the big speed button. So press and hold. So just press and hold. And shortly you should see it say um, warning and press on the volume up button. And this again, this will go into download mode as well. So just different way, depending on which model you have, you may need to use different methods to get into downloading mode. Now, once you're in download mode, we need to plug in your USB cable into the computer and into your Galaxy device. Okay, next we're going to start up the Odin software. So I'm going to run Odin 3 and then click on OK. And the software should be automatically detect uh, your phone has been plugged in. So if I unplug it right now, you can see this ID come will not show anything. So if we plug it in, it should detect here. And then in this side here, we need to select the uh, correct files. Okay, now we need to select the files that we have downloaded. The phone is in now in downloading mode. So we click on the BL. And then in BL, we need to go to the download folder. So it's in my F drive. And we need to go 
to Galaxy Upgrade. So in my F drive, click on Galaxy Upgrade. Then we click on uh, the, the folder that we have extracted. And then you select the BL file. So the BL text file, we need to select BL file for AEP. So we're just in the wait. And then click on AP. Again, we need to choose AP file. So any file start with the AP, we select the AP file. So this may take some time. Just wait for the file to load into the software. Okay, after that file has loaded, we go to the next one, the CP file. Click on that and again, choose the CP file right here. And then next, click on CSC file. Now in here, the CSC, there are two different files that you can choose from. So you want to choose CSC file if you want to start fresh. So this is very important that uh, if you want to keep your data, you would want to choose home CSC. And if you want to start your device fresh, you choose CSC. So I'm going to keep, um, I want to keep my data. So I'm going to choose home CSC. So this step is very important. If you choose the wrong file, uh, you may lose all your data on your device. So make sure that you choose home CSC if you want to keep your apps and data. With the user data, that's okay. You can leave it empty. You don't need it. Now, you don't need to do anything else. There are other options, like in options here, there are other things that you can uh, select. But the two important things is make sure that auto reboot and F dot reset time is selected. It is selected by default, so you don't need to play around with it. Just click on the start button once you are ready. So here I'm clicking on the start button. And you can see as soon as I click on the start button, there is a progress bar showing here on the device. And we're just going to wait for that to finish. So it is now starting. Once you see it say pass with the green light, this means that it has successfully downloaded the software onto your Galaxy S10, the S10e or the S10 Plus. So now we're just going to wait for the... have a look and it has finished we're going to go into software so I'm going to swipe down go into settings and then I'm going to check so go down to software update or about phone and then software information so still uh, doing a lot of the things on the background software information and there you go, you can see it's a One UI version 2.5. Uh, so it's still doing some uh, resettings, not resetting the device, but uh, doing some setup on the device to complete the upgrade installation. So we're just gonna wait. And that's it. So all together, I think it takes around 20 to 25 minutes of installation time. Uh, you will have to download the file. The file is quite large, around nearly five gigabytes. Uh, depending on your internet speed, it may be a little bit slow or maybe quick to download the file. And uh, once you have downloaded the file, the installation process should be straightforward. 
uh, now you can go and enjoy your new update of One UI 2.5. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.